We're at Oak Grove United Methodist Church in the Edison community. This church originally founded back uh, maybe into the 1830s. Uh, this building was built in the 1870s, moved to this location in the 1850s where a cemetery was established, which is just next to the church. And this is Oak Grove United Methodist Church. We're at the Military Memorial at Oak Grove United Methodist Church in Edison. Those that have served here and uh, that are known to have served are listed here on this memorial marker. And we're at Oak Grove United Methodist Church today, and Colton, Casey, and me are here. And we're checking out a few uh, ancestors that are buried here and others. This is John R. Bledsoe, who I am connected with, back a few generations, born about 1814, that's sometime in the 1880s. Now, this may be his wife right next here. This is an older stone. His is, his is newer. We're gonna walk over here in just a moment and look at those taller stones, which are Jones's and the other Bledsoe's are right over there. Here is Austin Bailey and his wife. Austin Bailey, a large landowner in this part of Southern Gibson County. Came here as a youngster, worked and uh, put together a pretty good bit of wealth. You can see there crypts here. I don't know if these are, if they're actually buried above ground or these are like false crypts. And, they're below them. His son, George W. Bailey, uh, who never married, owned a lot of uh, buildings and land, was one of the wealthiest landowners in the county at the time of his death, who our Bailey Park in Humboldt is named for. And here we're at the grave of Reverend Nathan Sullivan, who was a early minister in this part of the country, a Methodist minister here at Oak Grove. Uh, he, this was his last church he pastored before his death. And he's buried here along with his wife and others. He had a son that died at the beginning of the war between the states. Uh, he's buried here. Some interesting stories about Reverend Sullivan. Uh, he was a unionist at the start of the war, but he would follow the southern cause after Tennessee seceded. And he's buried right here. And let's take a look at his style. And here's Reverend Nathan Sullivan's obelisk. Let's go a little closer here and you can see it. Born in 1812, died in 1879. And next to Reverend Sullivan is his wife, Mary. Uh, she's buried right here. And there's other children uh, close by here. Let's walk over to this military marker, a later one that was put up for Willie Sullivan, who died in 1861 after coming home, was had gotten sick and died August the 13th, 1861. Uh, the story from would be his brother, Grant Sullivan, told of a uh, military funeral that took place in 1861 here for him. And let's see his original marker here. It's got the maker's mark on it as well, made by White of Memphis. Colton's here with me today too. And we're doing some video, checking out Casey's over there. And now we're at the grave of Reverend John Washington Jones, known as Jack Jones. He, uh, we were just telling the story of Nathan Sullivan. Uh, 
this gentleman here who was a local minister and preached at Oak Grove and who I'm actually connected to distantly uh, through his father, Thomas Jones, and his mother, uh, Catherine Shaw Jones, he was strung up by his thumbs by Yankee soldiers. Uh, he was also a unionist, of course. His opinion would shortly there change, and one of his sons enlisted in Forest Calvary shortly thereafter. There's some of the children that are here. There's Colton again. And, then, and when you guys watch my videos, when you see this one, make sure to watch my videos. Check his out as well. He's creating a YouTube page too. And these next ones here, these tall obelisks here, were not originally at Oak Grove. They were at the Jones Family Cemetery. They were moved several years ago. Thomas Jones, an early settler of Gibson County. His wife was Catherine Shaw, who was a niece of my Zachariah Shaw. It was my Revolutionary War ancestor. Zachariah actually served under Thomas Jones's father in the Revolutionary War. And then his stone was moved here from their family cemetery. Let's walk up here and you can see it a little closer here. Sacred to the memory of Thomas Jones. One in, I believe it's 1771, that looks like. Died in September the 26th, 1852. And then here's his original location. Here's where he originally was, where the family cemetery was. And then here's Elizabeth next to him, the daughter, I believe it is, or no, sister. And on this side, this is Alexander Williams, who's also connected to them. And here's his wife, Katie, which was Catherine Shaw Jones. Consort of Thomas Jones, born April the 22nd, 1781, died February the 5th, 1860. And there's all the Joneses here. This was placed here on this lot. Again, he's not actually buried here. And these next markers are our Bledsoe family that connect to these. And we're going to take a look at them next. And now we're in the Bledsoe section of Oak Grove Methodist Church. Colton there doing a little video. Uh, this is RHB, is this foot marker stone here. This is most likely Richard Henry Bledsoe, who is the son of Albert W. Bledsoe and grandson of Major Bledsoe. Uh, he died as a youngster. And how we guess this is who it is from the Bible pages, there isn't Richard Henry Bledsoe. This makes sense who it is. There's several open plots here which will probably have people in them we'll walk on down to this next one and again these are just assumptions of who some of these are this should be awb which this should be albert w bledsoe who i'm directly descended from his daughter cassie bledsoe married jr blankenship and then this is mwb could be the wife not totally for sure who this one is. There's another one that doesn't have a, any initials on it. We come on down and all these are going to connect in. This is a McWhorter. Cousin Rosemary descends from this line. And then here's John H. McWhorter. His wife, I believe, I believe she's buried in Memphis, seems like. And in these cradles here, they're called, they would have originally had flowers planted in them. Next is Jack Jones Bledsoe, who we've talked a little bit about him. Uh, Reverend John Washington Jones, who is an ancestor to him. He's named for because he went by Jack Jones, obviously. John Washington, Jack was short for that, and he was named after him. His wife, Betty Woodard. And then here's the one they call Uncle Bose, who never married. This is Albert W. Bledsoe, Jr., it means his father would be most likely buried right there. My direct line, Cassie Bledsoe Blankenship, is said to be buried here. It's on her death certificate and her son, Bob Blankenship. So they're somewhere in this section. Here's some others that are directly descended from. You'll recognize some of these names here. The Manascos, Don, his parents. And then the ones they descend from right through there. There's the church in the background. Who 
Here's one more of these markers that with just initials on it. We'll get down close to this one. This is BLB. This could be Bob Lee Blankenship, Robert E. Lee Blankenship, which is J.R. and Cassie Bledsoe Blankenship's son. He is buried here according to his death certificate. So the good chance this is possibly him, or it could be a Bledsoe as well. There's a tour of Oak Grove United Methodist Church in Gibson County near the Edison community. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe, like the video, share, and we greatly appreciate it.